Hello, I am Pete, and welcome back to Lonesome Village. In this episode, we're going to be heading back into the swamp. Now, we have been into the swamp once before, when it first unlocked, and it was quite empty at that stage. We hadn't yet freed any of the villagers that lived there. But since then, we've done lots and lots of puzzles in the tower, and the swamp is going to be a vibrant, thriving community. And as those words were leaving my mouth, I had this brief moment of doubt that I'd got it the wrong way around and actually said, thribrant, vibring community, which would have been bad, but that's not what happened. Uh, let's talk to this bird. This is Didi. It's nice to see you again. We're almost ready to go to our home in the jungle. For some reason, the entrance is closed, but we can get there easily with our balloon. Want to come with us? But before that, I was thinking of getting some flowers to decorate our house. Would you mind bringing some flowers while I finish tidying things up with the hot air balloon? Don't worry about the colour of the flowers. Any will do. Bring me the ones you like the most. One tulip and three roses are required. I'm pretty sure I'm not carrying those. No. Talk another time then. See ya. Okay, so that's probably how we're going to access the jungle. Nice. All right. Let's see who else is here. This uh, chameleon? This is Mikri. Do you know what time it is? Time to play hide and seek. The game is simple. I'll hide somewhere here on the swamp and you have to find me. Why don't I look for you? It's just that I'm better at hiding. You'll see why. Um, Mate. Um, <laughs> Not so tricky. Yay, you found me. You have a good eye. I'd be happy to play again if you want. Come talk to me whenever you can. 30 coins, presumably a friendship heart as well. And a key, okay. And there's the heart. Well, since we're stood here, yeah, let's, let's start off another game. Do you know what time it is? Time to play hide and seek. This is how it works. I hide, you look for me. Simple, right. Let's play. I do feel like I'm cheating somewhat, but you know. Where are you going? This bush here? This tree here? Gotcha. Yay, you found me. You have a good eye. I love playing this game. If you want to continue playing, I'd be happy to. Come talk to me whenever you want. 50 coins this time. And, uh, oh, a little froggy thing. We've got three of them now, I think. Those are surely going to be useful. Another heart, which means that the third is going to be the last for this person, I suspect. Uh, thanks for playing again with me. Go hide, try best. I mean, it is very, very tempting to play this on hard mode, but mm, I don't know. I might regret it. I think we're just going to be following them all the way around the island. I mean, the fact that I'm now walking ahead of Mikri kind of says it all, doesn't it? Just stood in this corner, righto. Yay, you found me. You have a good eye. Thanks for playing with me, really. I haven't had such a good time in a long time. You have earned yourself a reward. With this outfit, you can be as sneaky as I am. I hope you like it. Oh, a ninja outfit. That's pretty funky. Yeah, next time we're back home at our wardrobe, we will put that on. I'm sure you already know, but you can use the mirror in your house to change clothes any time. I feel like that was kind of a passive-aggressive thing of them telling us to maybe up our sartorial game. Hey, did you know you can brush your hair? Hey, did you know you can shower any time you want? Hey, did you know toothbrushes exist? Yeah. Anyway, right, so there's an open door here. There's going to be a person, here we go, an axolotl, who has a quest for us. Hey, hero, I wanted to thank you as well for letting us out of the tower. It's so nice to be back home. Do you know what's nice too? Food! I've been locked up in there for centuries and I'm starving. Will you have a snack over there? Wow, not seen this before. A red jelly and two orange jellies. I'm just going to make a quick note of that. Yeah, as I've mentioned in a previous episode, I've had to resort to keeping a little list of all the various to-dos, because it's just getting so overwhelming. Let's see if there's someone in here. Oh, Axolotl's in here. And a chest. Can't steal your stuff. Is this the same Axolotl or a different Axolotl? I think it's the same one. Yeah. They just somehow managed to teleport in front of me. That's the power that axolotls have. Okay, let's keep looking around in this swamp area, because if we have a quick look at the map, we know that there is also a hippo to meet down here, and a duck who doesn't have a quest. 
I wonder if I can get to this frog. No. Maybe some sort of special thing is going to be required. Do I have my pickaxe? I do. Which allows me to pick up this outfit. That was something I had my eye on since the uh, first time I visited the swamp. And here are the hippos. This person is just chatty. This person has the quest. Did you know my sister Rose and I love fruit? We have heard you have a garden. Are you a hero by night and a farmer by day? Ha 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 ha! This is joke. It's funny. I don't know why. Could you share some fruit with us as soon as you can? Pretty please. That's quite a lot of fruit, but okay. Make a note. All right, let's be on our way. Talking at the time. See ya. Our shopping list is growing and growing. So I think we've now talked to everyone in the swamp. We've got everyone's requests. A lot of it's, but well, all of it's farming. It's just farming, farming, farming. So I guess it's time to go back to the village and do a big old bulk shop. And might as well change our clothes while we're there. Hopefully we have enough money to buy all the seeds we need. If not, well, I'm sure there's something we can sell. So before I go shopping for the seeds, I am just going to head back to the cafe because I need to find out what's required to make jelly. I mean, I can hazard a guess, but I'll probably be wrong. You are the person. Do you crave something sweet? Bring me some ingredients. So let's see. So there's the orange jelly. So it requires a jam and five of them, whatever they are. And this one requires orange jelly plus more of those. I think these are passion fruits, maybe? Or are they pomegranates? I'm not sure, but we're going to need more orange jelly. So we're actually going to need three orange jellies. We're going to need some pear jam and some of those. And for these, we're going to need lots of strawberries and lots of these fruits. So roughly how many strawberries am I going to need? So each strawberry jam takes three strawberries, which means each of these takes those. So we're going to need like nine strawberries. Let's make a note of this. This pear jam is still eluding us. And we need eight of those. Wow. I'm worried that I'm going to miscount here and not quite make enough stuff. I think we're good. I think we're good. All right. Let's go seed shopping. So first things first, I am actually just going to head back and look in my storage to see if I do already have some of the things I need. And we'll do a little costume change while we're there. Okay, so this is looking pretty promising. We've already got three of these, so we only need another two. We've already got three of those, so we only need another five. We already have a decent number of roses, so it's only a tulip that's required to satisfy that. And we've got 13 apples, which satisfies that. We don't have any strawberries. Okay, all right, I think I have an idea of what I need to buy here. Let's head to the seed shop. Oh, flowers, beautiful in the season, sir. So, strawberries we are going to need quite a lot of. I calculate, let's buy... Oh, we can only buy in batches of 10. That's pretty pants. Okay. I'm going to buy 15. I think that's one more than I need, but, you know, better safe than sorry. These things I need some more of. I need two more of those. Let's just buy the two we need. These we need a bunch of. Five more. Right, what's next? So I am going to need more roses because I have other quests on the go. But money's a problem. So let's just buy a single tulip at the moment. And I think that will probably do us for now, which is good because we're nearly out of money. Let's go do some mega planting and mega harvesting. Oh, we have lots of roses. Oh, that's good. Uh, but my inventory is full. Uh, okay, so I probably want to do some planting out to make space first. The thing is that there's a big part of me who wants to make so much more of an effort with laying this out. You know, I'm planting all of these different things. I could potentially, you know, really make quite a pretty pattern out of all of this. But the thing is that this whole process of planting stuff is so mind-blowingly tedious that it just destroys any desire that I might have had to do a good job of this. I just want to get it over with as quickly as possible. It's a shame. It's, it's something that really does spoil an otherwise quite delightful little game. And I actually fully anticipate that by the time I've finished watering all of this stuff I've planted, some of the first stuff is going to be ready to harvest. I would not be surprised. 
All right there. Everything is planted. The other stuff is harvested. What can I do that's useful at this stage? I mean, our rose situation is pretty strong. We need six matching roses for a quest in the cemetery. So let's let's gather all of the white ones. Let's put away these things. There, yeah, that'll do for now. So yeah, let's let's take these to the cemetery. Is there anywhere else was worth going while we're in the area? I think we'll also head back to the mountains because there's a couple of people to talk to there. So first stop, cemetery. And I'm realising now I've made a mistake. I should have planted my things as close to the top of that area as possible so that I can see when I'm running past if they're ready to harvest or not. I'm also going to quickly just consult the map in case there's more stuff that's appeared that I didn't know about. New items in the store, apparently. Not sure how much I believe that. Okay, I, th I think that all of this is as I remember it. There's a lot of quests on the go. It feels like more than 50% of the, the villagers currently have a need for me. I've never felt so in demand, but I'm not sure that I enjoy it. Hi again, friend. I'd still like to get some more flowers for the graves. Whenever you can, please bring some of these flowers. I'm sure these will look beautiful. Some of my favourites. Any colour of these should do the trick. And yeah, we don't need six. Well, we don't need eight. We only need six, which we have. Thank you. The tombs will look even more wonderful now. I would also raise from the death to see them. And I think that's also the final uh, quest for this person. I'd like to give you something really special. Please accept this instrument. That's interesting. I'd also like to teach you one of my favourite songs. I hope you like it as much as I do. Okay. Let's play it back to him, very slowly. What's this doing for us? So a wind spell, probably. I say spell, you know what I mean. Okay, they've got a quest. Let's find out what it is. Hey friend, last favour I promise. Mind bringing me some of these flowers? My colourful vision is almost done. I'm sure I've done loads of quests for this person. Six tulips. Right, we don't have tulips. Talk on the time then. See ya. Alright, we're going to need some tulips here, are we? Fine. Well, as I say, I think I'm going to head back to the mountain. That said, this is where we play the wind spell. So let's do that. Da, da, da. Is that right or is it? Yeah, I think that was right. No, I got those two wrong. Yeah, that's more like it. Interesting to see what the wind song is going to do here. I assume it's wind. I mean, there's fog at the bottom of the screen, but these are very windy symbols up here. Oh, no, it's fog. It's definitely fog. And something is happening, just very slowly. Oh, some Will-o'-the-Wisps. Do we need to follow them? I think they're going to take me somewhere. I'm sure whatever it is is going to be worth it, though. Still going. Round in circles. Yes, yes, yes. Or are they going to open this, maybe? I mean, surely this is here for something. It does make sense that this would be a thing that I need to follow. But if they're just going to stroll around the cemetery for half an hour, then this is going to be a very boring episode. Maybe the magnifying glass. Aha, okay. So, right, yeah, a bat here did once tell me something about revealing the identity of the, the ghost. So, the ghost has a face, but does that change anything? I can't talk to it. It doesn't seem to be leading me anywhere. It looks sad, and it looks a bit like an axolotl. I'm going to try... Well, I'm going to firstly try talking to the bat in here, because they were the one who originally said something. Oh, they're not in here. They were the one who originally said something about the ghost having an identity. I can't see them now, though. I could try playing the song again. Not expecting much to happen, but, you know. 
No, I, I really don't know what I can do with this. I'm going to abandon this ghost for a little while. Sorry, ghost. Right, let's head back up to the mountains as per the original plan. Okay, so there's a couple of things to do here. One is there's a new person to talk to who has arrived in here. So let's go and introduce ourselves. Actually, are they new? No, maybe they're not. I have a memory of speaking to them. Cooper, I'm in search of knowledge and I want to do new experiments. But for this I need materials. I request your help to accomplish this mission. Blue potion, this rings a bell. Yeah, I think we've been here before. Okay, I'm just getting confused. Too much to keep track of. Right, so let me consult my notes. So I need to go into the mines. There was a person trapped in here that we weren't able to release before because we didn't have the golden pickaxe. We do now, so let's get in there. Sniff. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Coyote. My name is Mimi, a scout explorer. I thought I'd be stuck here forever. You have my eternal gratitude. I'd love to go on more adventures with you. Oh, we have another companion, like the badger that we had before. If you are interested, come look for me at the scout's camp west from the village. I mean, if these companions actually gave you some sort of tiny buff, then it would be worth doing. But I don't think they do. Like, increased mining speed, how much I'd love that. I don't actually need any of these gems, but it's going to be a really good way to make some money. And there's a chest here which we can open. We have a key, and that's given us an outfit. Uh, we only had the one key, apparently. Fair enough. So, I also need to talk to a historian. Let's head out here. I think they were in the kind of southeast corner. Yeah, this person. They have a quest for us. The Frog King on the beach wanted something. Huh, do you want me to give you these items? But they are very valuable. I see, I said I owed you one, so let's do something. Bring me these treasures I'm looking for, and in return, I'll give you what you're looking for. How about that? Uh, the quests are all chained up. I'm sure Robert the Blacksmith can help you craft them. Right, so I'm going to need to craft the shield and the crossed swords in order to get the thing from them to take them to the Frog King on the beach. What fun. Right, shield and crossed swords. Let's go and find out what that entails. Given that I'm already finding the complexity of the various branching quests hard to keep track of. I didn't really want this, but that's fine. Right. Let's see what I'm going to need. So the crossed swords are going to require some of those and some of those. Which is going to require some of that and some of that and some of that. Okay, that's all fairly plain ingredients. And that's the same. So I think if I just go back to the mines and get... In fact, I've probably got some in, in my blue chest. Some of these things and some little stone things. I can craft up everything I need. It's quite expensive to make all this. 100 coin. So I'm going to have to sell some stuff as well. I think it's worth doing. Right, step one. Let's go back to our home in the village so that we can get the things we need out of the blue chest. And you know what's going to happen. I'm going to get back to my home in the village and I'm going to notice all of those plants that are ready for harvesting. And I'm going to be so torn. But let's try and get this thing finished off. Or at least get it to a place where I'm not juggling things in my head. Okay, it looks like these aren't ready for harvesting yet. So that's that's good. In the sense that it prevents me getting further distracted. Right, so I need lots of stone. Let's take all of that. And I need lots of those grey metal bars. So let's take all of that. And then I need some stuff to sell. So let's put away this. And what about, um I kinda wanna keep one of each of the gems. I mean maybe maybe the gems I've got in my inventory here are fine for selling. I've got I've got quite a lot of fish. Apples. Okay, yeah, let's, let's sell what we've got right now. Let's head back to the village, sell all the gems we're carrying, and that should get us quite a decent amount of coins, enough to complete our immediate needs at least. So we don't want to sell any of that or that. This, however, we can gladly sell. And I need to go back into the menu every time. That's a little bit frustrating. Let me sell this thing. Of course, if it turns out I needed more than one of one of those gems, I'll be a little bit sad that I sold them all.
Oh, I had three of those. Nice. Um, I'm also just going to check at this thing just to see what they're selling. Nope, didn't mean that. Okay, nothing I need. I'm going to go to the bank, actually, because I'm currently carrying more coins than I need. I think I only need 100 on me, so I might actually do a deposit. So I'm currently carrying 627, so yeah, we can... Let's put 300 in. Okay, that hasn't got me any favourite hearts. I think there might be a limit to how many coins you can carry, so that's why you'd want to put money in the bank. I think I read somewhere that maybe it's like a thousand coins max. We're nowhere near that. Right, let's head back to the blacksmith and hopefully we have what we now need to craft up the shield and the crossed swords. Okay, so crossed swords, we're going to need to make two of them and one of them. So there's the one of them. And there's the two of them. And let's craft that. Money is depleting quite rapidly, but I think we're okay. Uh, for this, we need two of them and two of them. So let's craft up two of them, two of them, and now we've run low on those bars, so we're going to need to head back into the mines to get three more of them. Okay, we can do that, won't take long. And I think what I'll do is, while those ones have a higher percent chance of dropping those bars, these things are quicker to mine, and I also have a chance of getting high-value gems. In fact, look, there's, there's the three I need. Interesting. No gems in there at all. Hmm. I'm just going to go up to the mole family up here, just in case they have a quest that I've forgotten about. Nope, they're just happy. I think they're all done. Okay, we've got everything we need. Let's go back to the blacksmith and finish that crafting and make absolutely sure that it's the shield we're crafting. We don't want to get two crossed swords. I mean, four crossed swords, you know what I mean. There we go, we've got everything we need to make the shield. Craft that up. And then let's head back to the historian and trade in for another thing. Here we are. Huh, do you want me to give you these items? Uh, very valuable, yep, you said all this before. So now we can hand over these two things. A deal is a deal. Here you go. Lovely. Those are the items for the Frog King on the beach. We've got a heart here. Has this person got a new quest for us by any chance? Doesn't look like it. Okay, I think we're going to end this episode here. I think uh, in the next episode, let's head back to the beach and complete that. But yeah, hope you'll join me for that. See you for the next episode of Lonesome Village. Bye-bye.